Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Circus Fit. And yay, it's the first day of level three, so hopefully you haven't all just run outside to play with other people. You're still here to get yourselves fit. So you can chase those people down and hug them whether they want to or not. Okay, yeah, I know it's against the rules, but hey, we're all getting a little stir crazy. Anyway, let's move on. So let's have a quick look at what we're going to need for today's class. First thing we're going to need is we're going to need some space and a wall. We're also going to need a chair and we're also going to need a stick um, or a scarf or a rope. Something we can just basically lie on the ground. We're going to be jumping over it. OK, let's come back. All right. First thing I'm going to do is we're just going to have a gentle warm up today and then we're going to get into a little bit more intense cardio stuff. And then we'll do some strength and then we'll do some active flex and some core and stretching and all of those good things. Cool. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is we're all going to stand up. We aren't already. And we're just going to place our hands on our hips. We'll just angle that a little bit. Yeah. And legs nice and wide, a little bit more on the hip width apart. And we're just going to slowly rock from one side to the other. Okay. And when we're doing this, we're going to keep our chest nice and upright. And we're going to focus on our breathing as well. Okay. So we're going to go a little bit slower. I'm going to take a big breath in across and then return to the center as we breathe out okay we can go a little bit wider with our legs and we're going to go a little bit deeper into our side lunge so again breathing in And out and in and out. Okay, for the next one, we're going to come into a plank position. And all I'm going to do is we're going to rock forwards and backwards into a downward dog and back into a plank. And again, when I breathe in, I'm going to push into my downward dog. So, and then breathing out and slowly coming back to a plank. And this time we'll just hold it in our down dog. And again, really try to flatten our back and our arms in line. And then just like you would um, in our aerials class, or if you've never done an aerials class with us, all we're going to do, just going to shrug up and down the line of our arms with our shoulders. So you guys keep doing that, but it's basically this motion here. So just shrugging up and down in my downwards dog. I'm coming back to your plank. I'm just going to hold that for a few seconds. Okay, coming out of there. All right, let's just stand up again. And we're just going to do a little bit of warm up for our knees. So what I want us to do, Put our feet together, put our hands on our knees, and we're just going to circle our knees around in one direction. And the other way. I've never seen myself do this before. It's kind of weird. Okay, and then we're going to go opposite directions. And changing. Okay, for our angles, we're just going to point our toe out, just adjust it so you can see the feet. Okay, so we're just going to point our toe out, toes on the ground, and then roll our ankle around in a circle. And other way. Okay, switch your foot.
uh, and change that direction. Okay, good work. All right, first exercise. We're going to start just by popping on one foot. So we want to keep our chest nice and upright, and we're going to go for 20 on each side twice. Okay, so starting on whichever foot is your favorite foot, or least favorite foot, ready and go. Just hopping up and down. Again, keeping core engaged, chest nice and upright. And switching foot. And switching back to your first foot. And back to your other foot. Cool. Okay, I'm just going to try turning that light out. I just noticed. Yeah, that's a bit better. You guys can still see me, right? Cool. Awesome. All right, for our next one, we're going to get our stick or our piece of string, staff, whatever we decided. And all we're going to do is we're going to lie it on the floor like that. Um, okay, feet start on one side, nice and together, and we're going to jump from one side to the other. Okay, and again, we're going to do that 30 times. Ready and go. Okay, pretty sure that was 30. All right, next one we're going to do is we're going to place our stick the other way. So we're going forwards and backwards. Okay, see the stick? Yep. And we're going to start standing behind it. And our first jump, we bring one foot in front. Second jump, we switch the jump back to behind. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Yep. And I'm just going to tilt a little bit because I can't see what's going on now. Cool, okay, ready and go. One, two. Two more. Cool, okay. Just stop that there, give our legs a little bit of a shake out. Okay, now we're going to move on to a uh, little bit of um, push ups and things. Okay, so the first thing we're going to oh no, sorry, we're not. We've got one more exercise before that. We're just going to do a little cardio circuit. So you can grab yourself a drink if you need to. No, four stations in our circuit. I'm going to do 30 seconds of each one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start and we're going to do 30 seconds of burpees. And then when I say switch, we'll have a five second rest. And then we're going to do 30 seconds of base snaps. And then I'll say switch and we'll have a five second rest. And then for the next one, if you've done handstands before, we're going to hold a handstand against the wall. If you haven't done handstands before, I'd prefer it if you just did them on a chair. So you get your chair. Yeah, and all you would do is you would push your knees on your chair like this, okay, and then come up, and you want to try and get your hips as close above your hands as you can. Now, you can see my chair is rocking backwards a little bit. If that's the case, you can also place your chair against the wall. Okay, and for the final 30 seconds, we are just going to do some Jumping jacks. Okay, now let's quickly find my um, stopwatch. 
Okay, sorry about that guys. We are ready with the stopwatch. Okay, so we're ready bottling with 30 seconds of burpees and Five more seconds. Okay, stopping there. Quick five seconds rest, then 30 seconds of V snaps. Ready and go. Five seconds left. Okay, five seconds rest. And then handstand, you can see the reward for your chair. Ready and go. Ten seconds. And five seconds rest. And then thirty seconds of jumping jacks. And go. Seconds left. Okay. Point there. Just walk it out a little bit on the spot and grab yourself a drink. All right. For our next exercise. We're going to do a cascade. So, what I mean by a cascade is we're going to start with a number and we're going to try six. We'll see how six goes, yeah? Six is too easy, then feel free to do some more after class. Six is too hard, then just do what you can, okay? But we we're going to do six push ups, yeah, and then six squat jumps. So, sorry, guys, slight technical issue there. Um, so, slight technical issue. That's all fixed. Okay, so we're going to do cascades. Yep. So six push ups, then six squat jumps. So for a squat jump, you want our knees nice and wide, squat, push our toes into the ground, make sure we absorb. And then we do five push ups, five squat jumps. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. You get the idea. Okay, so in your own time, ready, starting with the push ups. And Oh, the six push ups. Six squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Six, five push ups. Four. 
ਕੀਤੀ ਜੀ Uh, cool. Okay, again, take a second, just step that out, and we'll grab a drink. Ooh. Okay, what's next? Aha! Next, we have some tricep dips. You'll need a trusty chair. So again, sit in the chair when the fingers facing forwards. Heels your hand on the chair. You're just going to extend your legs off, out in front, straight out in front, sorry. Slide your bum off and then lower down and push up. Okay? Too hard. You can bring your feet in a little bit. If it's too easy and you've got something else, you can rest your feet higher up on something. Okay? I don't have anything handy. Uh, oh, weird. Vacuum cleaner, that might do. Okay, and we're going to do 20. Again, just do what you can if 20 is too hard. And go. Ten. Five left. Go. Thank you very much, Mr. Vacuum Cleaner. Over there. All right. Okay. Next up, we'll get to work on our abs. So, first thing we're going to do for abs is we're just going to do our touching knee to elbow. So, let's lie on the ground. Okay. Now, We'll bring our knees up, so we've got 90 degrees in between our hips, our knees, our feet. Bring our elbows close to our knees, and then we extend the same arm and same leg out. And we do that 10 times on each side. Three, ready, and go. And switching side. Make sure that our shoulders are off the ground. Okay. The next one, we're going to start. Pike position. Okay, so we just reach for our feet for a little bit just to quickly stretch that out. Nice straight legs, pressing our knees, backs of our knees into the ground. Okay, and all we're going to do is we're going to lift our arms up and slowly lower down. And we don't want to come all the way down to the ground, and then we want to keep a gap in between our back and the ground, making sure we've got this nice concave shape going on. Okay, and then coming back up. And again, we'll do 10 of these. Coming down, as long as you can, make sure that your legs stay nice and straight and your feet stay nice and puddled.
Phobos. Okay, good work everyone. For our next one, we're going to do some leg lifts. So for this one, we want to lie flat on the ground. And when we lift our legs up, we want to keep our legs nice and straight, feet together. And as we lower them down, they never quite touch the ground. We want to bring them just above the ground and then lift them back up again. And again, we'll do 10. And then off we go. Making sure that our lower back stays on the ground all the time. Really thinking about squeezing our ribs towards our hips. Cool, awesome. Okay, for our next one, what we're going to do is we're going to do a leg lift again, but this time we're going to bring our feet all the way over our head and we're going to roll through our back and try and touch our feet to the ground behind our head. Now, when we're doing the roll, what we want to do is you want to really think about keeping that crunch going and keeping our back rounded. So it's like our back is coming off one off the ground, one vertebra at a time. Okay, so lifting up and then slowly. Rolling over, touching our feet to the ground above our head, and then same on the way back, legs nice and straight, feet stay as compressed as we can, rolling our back down first, and then our legs come down. Now, okay, so we're going to do 10 of those. Now, you can get started, or if you struggle to get your legs up over your head when they're straight, what you can do is you can bring them into a tuck and then roll over. And if you straighten them as you come over, then the weight of your legs will help pull them over. Okay? Now, you don't need to touch your feet to the ground. Just get them as close as possible. But the really important bit on the way is on the way back, that you come back nice and slowly. Okay. So, keep going with these. Yep. Either doing them with your legs bent or with your legs straight. Your bone bit is that crunch and really rolling through your back and staying as compressed as possible. So I'm really compressed. My knees are on my nose. Okay. And when I'm coming down, my back is rolling down, but my legs are staying as close to my head as I can possibly get them until they have to come down and touch the ground. Okay, hopefully you guys have been doing these while I've been rattling on. So I'm just going to do three more. Nice and slow. And last one. Okay, we're going to do our last one together, guys. If you're not quite there yet, then we're all going to do this one together. But what I really want you to focus on with this one is finding any weak points. Now, for me, I can feel that I'm only about two thirds of the way through. My arms get a little bit weaker and I try and rush past that part. Okay, so it's fine on the way up, but on the way down, I really want you to focus on that particular point and try and go as slow as possible on the way back down. Okay, so last one together. Yep, really trying to find that weak point. There it is for me. Okay, and then coming down nice and slow and make sure that you don't rush past that weak point. Good. Okay. Let's see what we 
Next what I'm going to do, we're going to just do a little bit of flex on our legs. So lying down again. Okay. And we're going to lie flat on the ground and we're going to kick our right leg up 10 times. Both legs stay straight, left knee is trying to stay pressed into the ground. Okay, we'll do 10 on each leg and then we're on our side. Okay, so go on. One, two, And other leg, again, making sure that your leg that's not kicking stays pressed into the ground. Okay, turning on our side, and we're going to kick our top leg towards the ceiling. And when I do, I'm going to turn my leg, or turn my hip, sorry, so my knee is facing towards the ceiling. So I'm not kicking sideways, I'm turning my leg as much as I can and really trying to kick my foot towards it. And go. Okay, and switching side. And then rolling over on our back and again 10 kicks, nice straight legs just towards the seat. Making sure that our hips, both of our hips, are on the ground. So yeah, so we're not rolling over like that to kick. I'm keeping my hips pressed nice and flat into the floor. Cool, awesome. Okay, Ooh, we're nearly out of time again. All right, so let's just finish with a little bit. Oh, no, one more. We'll do our straddles, okay? So for this one, we're gonna lie on our back, lift our legs up like we did in the left le leg lift, and then we're just gonna open our legs, 10 straddles. And we're gonna hold on the final one for 10 seconds. Okay, so ready and go. Okay, and just hold there for 10. And again, that's just a slight technical issue. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what's up with the laptop today. It just keeps freezing. But hopefully you didn't notice. Cool, awesome. Um, and what's left? Oh yeah, let's just finish with a little bit of a stretch then. Nice pike stretch. So back nice and straight, arms up, breathing in again, and then reaching for our and. If we take a big breath in, then when we breathe out, let's try and reach a little bit lower. So. And once more, big breath in. And try and ease down just a little bit lower. Oh, and then a quick frog stretch to finish. So coming on all fours, and we're going to slide our knees out wide, making sure that my feet are directly behind my knees, and I place my elbows on the ground. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is just push my hips backwards a little bit, trying to get my knees as wide as possible.
and slowly easing out the blast. Bring our legs in front, give them a little shake, and that's it for this week, guys. Don't forget, you can oh, now all our classes on the Circus Hub website. Let's see if I can pull that up without the whole thing dying. There we go, yeah. So circus.org.nz slash online classes. We've got some Zoom classes starting this week as well. So make sure you get on the website and check out what those are about. Okay. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. Thank you very much. Have a good day.